Hello guys, welcome to tutorial number three on this uh, car designing series. And this car is Porsche 911 Carrera 4. So let's design the lower uh, part of the bonnet. So to do that, we have to go to the right sketch, uh, make a sketch in right plane, and go to spline. And from this corner here to here. You have to draw a spline and then try to adjust it according to the blueprint. And add a tangent relation with this one. Select this edge hold control and select this spline make it tangent okay get out of this sketch and now go to sketch 3d sketch and we use spline and we just add spline from this point to this point and press escape go to front view and then try to match it with the blueprint okay let's take a right view Here we go. And we'll take a top look of this thing. Okay. Get out of this sketch. Now we are going to make another 3D sketch and from this, from using spline from this point to this, press escape, press spacebar and then click on this right side of the cube and try to adjust it. Go to top view. Try to match it with this one. There we go. Get out of this sketch here. Before we go any further, we have to knit two surfaces. We have to go to surface, click on knit surface, and then select this surface and this surface. Then click OK. Now these surfaces are, are knitted together. And then we'll go to features, I mean on sketch, 3D sketch, and click on convert entities. We have to create a sketch over here. So so that we can use fill surface again so what we do we select this surface this surface I mean this edge this edge and this spline we click OK and then we use trim entities here trim this line trim this one and trim this one now we're left with this line and this is what we wanted and we get out of this sketch now what we do is we use loft so selection manager select this this edge this spline and this edge click ok and the next group is this one for the guide curve we will use this spline and 
not working. Alright, so what we do, because uh, the loft is not working and let's see boundary layer, boundary surface is working or not. Uh, selection manager, select this edge, this plane and this one, click OK. And next surface is this and the guide curve is going to be this one. And this sketch we click OK as you can see it cannot create a surface it's saying so we get out of that we go to fill surface we select all the sketches get a nice looking surface and we'll hide this front view for for instance as you can see the surface is very uniform and that was we wanted it's great so next thing is uh, we'll go right view and make a right sketch I mean make a sketch and right plane and we'll move spline and from this point to this point press escape Let's provide a tangent relation with this from this edge. Hold control and select this spline here and make it tangent. And press on spacebar and click on the right side and we have to make some changes here. Let's get out of this sketch here and we'll go to 3D sketch again using spline. We'll connect this uh, spline with this edge. Press escape, go to top view, and Make it uh, along the x axis. And get out of the sketch. And again, we need a sketch over here. For that, uh, we will be using again knit surface to knit this one and this one. Click on that surface, knit this surface and this surface. Click OK. And uh, go to 3D sketch. Con click on convert entities. And select this one, this one. And click OK. Go to trim. Trim with that and get out of this sketch and we are left with this sketch and now uh, go to surface we go to loft select this one and select this sketch and for the guide curves this one and another guide curve this one seems uh, seems nice so let's hide the right view here and 
take a look at the surface so pretty good okay we will use again the mirror entities uh, I mean 3d mirror select the mirror and select the right plane here and go to bodies and select all the surface click OK so as you can see a beautiful car is being <laughs> uh, is under process actually so this is how it's going to look let's take a look on this one so uh, delete this one and we have to make some changes here okay this guide curve direction to vector does it work? no it doesn't work Okay guys, uh, this is enough for today, so see you in the next tutorial and, and keep designing and if you come across any kind of doubt or uh, any kind of problem, so uh, type on the comment uh, box, so see you in the next tutorial guys.